Okay, this next command is the MS config. Uh, you basically go to the command, the command line or the run line, actually, the run line, or the start search if you got Vista or something like that, or uh, later. And what you do is you type MS config, and this little screen pops up on the screen for you. Uh, what you want to do is you can use this for troubleshooting a, a booting issue or any you know, other issues you might have. You can say safe boot, no GUI boot, um, boot log, whatever. One thing a lot of people do, if you look at this one box here, you have uh, just, you can have two uh, OS's listed here and sometimes you want to toggle between the two. Since I only have one and I want the timeout to be three seconds because that's a deep, they won't let you have anything less than that, so I'll click apply. And then um, you move on to services. Basically what you're doing is you're speeding up how fast your computer boots. If you go to services, anything in here you don't need, you uh, basically disable. So what you want to first do is hide all Microsoft uh, services because you don't really want to disable any of those too much. Um, I'll put them back here for a second. Um, you sell the Microsoft and you got this uh, base fi filtering engine, Windows Audio, Audio Endpoint, Application Management, Application Layer Gateway Service, which is not running, so you really don't have to add that one selected. Uh, anything that's not running, you don't need to have select, so it doesn't need to try to attempt to load it and wait for the timeout for it to go, you know, go past that. Um, anything you don't need. So, like I said, we hide all Microsoft services, and then you just let pretty much left with what you need. And you can go through here and pick the ones you need or don't need. Anything that's stopped, uh, you actually don't need to load anyway. Uh, startup is the main one you want. You want to go through here, and you basically want to take out anything that you don't need at the startup, um, like Acrobat Reader or Acrobat itself, you don't need them right at startup. When you click on them, they'll start anyway, so you just click apply, and then you just click uh, OK, and then when you restart it, um, I'm going to do a exit all restart because mine's pretty much already set, and when you restart when you restart it, all that happens is it'll boot a lot faster and you get in your programs faster instead of sitting there waiting the standard uh, two minutes, I think it is for most Windows machines to start up. Uh, what this does is basically eliminate anything you don't need anyway because the more you have open and open and running on your machine, the more of a space you have for attack by hackers. Um, the less you have running, the smaller uh, openings you have for an attacker to uh, actually advance an attack against you. So the least you have running is normally the best. You don't have to lock your computer down what's unusable, but you want to pretty much make your computer uh, hard to hack as possible. Um, so you want to get rid of any services you're not using. Um, if you don't like, if you used to have a VPN, you're not using a VPN no more. Take it off because you're probably not keeping the software up to date. That's another thing you want to do is always keep your software up to date, your antivirus stuff up to date. It only slows them down, uh, but it will keep away the kids that are just playing around on the internet. Um, but the serious hacker, he'll get in your stuff anyway if he really wants to. Um, that's just some tips for me, and that's all I have for now. And thank you as always.